What is Hall Effect and its applications? Hall Effect Definition When a magnetic field is applied to a current carrying conductor in a direction perpendicular to that of the flow of current, a potential difference or transverse electric field is created across a conductor. This phenomenon is known as Hall Effect. Hall Effect was discovered by Edwin Hall in 1879. The voltage or electric field produced due to the application of magnetic field is also referred to as Hall voltage or Hall field. Now let's look into detail about what is Hall effect. We know that the P-type semiconductor and N-type semiconductor are the two types of semiconductors. In the N-type semiconductor, free electrons are the majority carriers and holes are the minority carriers. That means most of the current in the n-type semiconductor is conducted by free electrons. In the p-type, holes are the majority carriers and free electrons are the minority carriers. That means most of the current in the p-type is conducted by holes. Now we get an idea about the p-type and the n-type semiconductors, right? But how can we identify whether the semiconductor is p-type or n-type? Free electrons and holes are the very small particles, so we can't see them directly with our naked eyes. But by using Hall effect, we can easily identify whether the semiconductor is a p-type or n-type. When a voltage is applied to a semiconductor or conductor, electric current starts flowing through it. In conductors, the electric current is conducted by free electrons, whereas in semiconductors, electric current is conducted by both free electrons and holes. The free electrons in a semiconductor or conductor always try to flow in a straight path. However, because of the continuous collision with the atoms, free electrons slightly change their direction. But if the applied voltage is strong enough, the free electrons forcefully follow the straight path. This happens only if no other forces are applied to it in other direction. If we apply the force in other direction by using the magnetic field, the free electrons in the conductor or semiconductor change their direction. Consider a material, either a semiconductor or a conductor as shown here. When a voltage is applied, electric current starts flowing in the positive x direction from left to right. If a magnetic field is applied to its current carrying conductor or semiconductor in a direction perpendicular to that of the flow of current, that is z direction, an electric field is produced in it that exerts force in the negative y direction, which is downwards. This phenomena is known as Hall effect. Hall effect was named after American physicist Edwin Hall, who discovered the phenomenon in 1879. Hall effects helps to determine the type of material. We can easily identify whether a semiconductor is p-type or n-type by using this effect. If the voltage produced is positive, then the voltage is said to be p-type and if the voltage produced is negative, then it is n-type. The Hall voltage is directly proportional to the current flowing through the material. The magnetic field strength and it is inversely proportional to the number of mobile charges in the material and the thickness of the material. So in order to produce a large Hall voltage, we need to use a thin material with few mobile charges per unit volume. Mathematical expression for the Hall voltage is given by Vh is equal to Ib by Qnd, where Vh is equal to Hall voltage, I is equal to current flowing through the material, B magnetic field strength, Q charge, N number of mobile charge carriers per unit volume, D thickness of the material. Now let's look into applications of Hall effects. It is used to find whether a semiconductor is n-type or p-type. It is used to find carrier concentration. Hall effect is used to calculate the mobility of charge carriers, free electrons and holes. It is also used to measure conductivity. It is used to measure AC power and the strength of magnetic field. Hall effect is used in an instrument called Hall effect multiplier, which gives the output proportional to the product of two input signals.